It's Zander's TCG here, and thanks again for watching our TCG battle video. Today we're gonna play with Ilya, uh, Corny Love's list of the uh, regionals in Offenbach slash Frankfurt. We of course are gonna play with Zoroark Boswell Jax. That's right, Boswell Jax uh, saw kind of a recent uh, yeah uh, popularity because of course people are pairing it with Zoroark, people are pairing it with Lycanroc. So Boswell Jax, I know there is a lot of Malamar variants out there, but Boswell Jax uh, actually uh, got a lot of placements at the top eight, of course at the Offenbach regional. So we're gonna check out Zoroark with Boswell Jax. I know it sounds weird, but we're gonna play test with it and see if it's actually that good. There's a one one line uh, of Lycanroc Jax in there because of the bloodthirsty eyes and also the amazing Jax move that it provides. But Boswell Jax is just kind of good. Uh, with the weakness policy, you don't have to worry about those annoying Malamars and uh, you can just go straight uh, with full force thanks to Kukui. We have Beast Energy as well and also Choice Band so you can dish out quite a number of damage even with Diancie sitting on the bench. That means Boswell, you can just jet punch those weak Pokemon and just spread some damage. And then late game, you also have access to Beast Ring. You can just use... Uh, cards like Mallow and then you can just use the ability of Zoroark to trade those uh, beast energies right away and then you can just spam uh, onto Boswell Jack to use Knuckle Impact so that is what the list is uh, designed to do. There's Spell Pattern here to just resuffle some uh, supporters that you need. Sometimes you want to have more Kukui, sometimes you want to have an extra Judge. That's why Spell Pad is in here and then of course uh, what do we see here? Ace Rolla combos because we have Weakness Policy as our tool card so the opponent will have to one shot us without uh, relying on uh, yeah, the weakness so that means we can just abuse Ace Roller and that's going to be fantastic. So that is the list that we're gonna play with. That was the sixth place winning list of the Offenbach Regionals in uh, Germany. So a very large tournament and this uh, became uh, sixth place. So we're uh, Zoroark GX with Boswell GX. I wonder if it uh, is as good as it uh, looks on paper. Okay, the opponent that we're facing today is uh, running Rayquaza. The thing we know about Rayquaza, it's fast. It needs Vikavolt to just get those energies into play and of course it's going to rely on uh, the uh, Dragon Break to deal more damage depending on how many energies they have on the board. If we start with Boswell Jax, it's kind of good because uh, with a Beast Energy and a Diancie we hit 80 which means we can just get rid of Grubbins but we can also rely on Kukui for that and looks like we're just starting with the Zoroa as uh, it is almost at uh, the time, uh, always every time we start with Zoroa because we're running 4 copies of Zoroa and that is our main Pokemon to start with but of course we have things like Guzma and uh, maybe we can top deck something nice. We have Tapu Lele in here, uh, it's going to probably be for Cynthia, we don't run Pokemon Fan Club or anything for that matter and uh, the opponent will start. He has Rayquaza, Rayquaza Jax, one of the more expensive Jax cards in the uh, standard format at the moment because of course Stormy Wind sets itself up. We have consistency thanks to Tempest Jax so it uh, does see a fair amount of tournament success Rayquaza GX. The opponent already has an Ultra Ball, we're probably gonna see uh, a Grubbin or a Tapu Lele for a Fan Club. We do see a Grubbin, so he's uh, probably gonna have a second turn Vika Volt, and we're gonna have to be very careful here. He also uh, follows that up with a Lily. Lily for 6 cards, that means he has 8 cards in the hand. Will he have that second turn Vika Volt? Who knows, but for now, the only thing we can do is here as uh, you Tapu Lele and you Cynthia, and hopefully we draw into the necessary cards in order to just uh, go in with full force. We definitely need an extra bench Pokemon because Zoroa won't survive as much as we would have hoped because it only has 60 HP which means if Rayquaza can attack already oh, two Rayquazas on board. That's very very dangerous. Okay, what do we want? Uh, we have an energy, not that that's going to do any good. <laughs> we're gonna use Tapu Lele. Our hand is actually rubbish. So we're going to check our uh, supporter lines. We need Cynthia here because uh, otherwise we might, or maybe a Judge. A judge for four, he might add uh, that we put ourselves in a difficult situation as well. Although, one, two, three, four, five, six, he can always use Tempest later. I think we definitely need the bench Pokemon right now, and we also have access to Beast Rings. Two of them are in there. Weakness policy, there's also Beast Energy, and we also have access to Sledgehammer. So, I'm not afraid too much. We're just gonna get that Cynthia out. I'm also gonna just uh, attach that uh, choice band so we have more ch uh, a better chance of drawing into a basic Pokemon because <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Maybe we should have attached it to the Lele now that I think about it because Zoroa will not survive as long as we want it to. So here comes the Ultra Ball. We are gonna get rid of an energy and a weakness policy because weakness policy will not matter in this matchup. And we are gonna get, yeah, we can also wait for Tapu Lele, but I want my Zoroark out as quickly as possible. So I think I'm just gonna get out Zoroa. So we can have Zoroark GX next turn. We can trade away that, that choice band later. 
Let's see if he has the second turn Vikavolt. If he has that, we are probably gonna be screwed. Maybe we should have waited and used Tapu Lele next turn, but we definitely need an attacker and Zoroark uh, can provide just that. Maybe we can top deck a Kukui and uh, with Kukui you could have a DCE. We need to fill up our bench as well to dish out more damage. It's going to be very difficult, to say the least. Maybe we could sacrifice our Tapu Lele, could also work out. Because Tapu Lele deals more damage depending on how many energies he has. So Tapu Lele and that uh, yeah, inside I could also kind of two-shot this uh, Rayquaza. We cannot one-shot it. We are going to have to rely on B-Strings. And as soon as he has two Rayquazas set up, it's going to be very difficult for us. Because there's not a lot we can do. Our opening hand was kind of garbage. So we're definitely going to play another round here. Because this does not show the full potential of the deck just yet. But at least uh, we're taking it uh, for a spin, right? One rare candy and one ultra ball in his discard pile. So hopefully he skips the second turn Vikavolt. Although he has access to Tapu Lele to get his Voltner, to get his rare candy, to get his Vikavolt. Oh, he just passes the turn. What is this? Okay, wow. We're just gonna take full advantage of that. We're just gonna get our Zoroark up. We're gonna uh, use. Maybe we should have got that 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 Grubbin out, out there. Now that I think about it. Oh well. It happens. We should have definitely targeted that uh, Grubbin, but we needed a bench Pokemon. And uh, looks like we didn't got a bench Pokemon out of that trade, so it doesn't even matter too much here. So we're just gonna rely on the Righteous Beating. And then we can just finish it off with Tapu Lele. So this is going to be 90. And with Tapu Lele, we can finish off this Rokoiza if he happens to attack. So he concedes right away. I don't know what the hell that was. We were dead drawing as well, so maybe his computer froze or for something. That was not even a matchup. We're gonna try another matchup so uh, we can have the full potential of Zorak Buzzle. This was kind of like uh, the weird thing where we dead drew, so... I'm kind of afraid that this deck uh, does not show promise in this first match. So we're gonna play another round, and with that round, hopefully we start with Boswell Jack so we can start using Jet Punch, because it's been a while since I used Jet Punch. Okay, probably facing a mirror match, or it's going to be Zorak and Lycanroc. We're gonna say Tails never fails. And uh, we won the coin flip, which means we can go first. And we want to go first because I don't want to have that scenario like in last game where we didn't get out anything. Mulligans! Looks like we're giving the opponent a chance to set up. That was kind of weird. Maybe uh, the Rayquaza player didn't have his Vikavolt and he said like, Oh my god, I didn't get the Vikavolt, I'm just gonna scoop here, whatever. Uh, we start with a little Rockruff and also a Judge. I wonder if we can judge the opponent. That is also something I like to do. First turn judges are amazing. Nas Ball, Ultra Ball. Okay, Baby Buzz, hello. Gotta get out Nas Ball. We want... He might Guzma us, which is unfortunate. We don't want that. We definitely need some Zorwas out to trade. How many B-Strings? One B-String. Oof, that's going to be rough. But the Beast Energy is in here. So Zorwa comes to play. He has a lot of cards in the hand. But I definitely want to make use of the Lily here, so let's get rid of the Judge and the Choice Band. And then we're gonna rely on Palpat to put that Judge back. So that way we draw a lot of cards with Lily on the first turn. Putting that Judge back is good, because with Judge we can just disrupt them when the time is right. And with Lily we draw 7 cards. Looks like we have a bunch of uh, good candidates here. Let's give an energy to the Rockruff. He might one-shot us, that could happen, but he needs his beast energy in order to do that. So we're kind of safe, we're just gonna pass the turn. We have Lycanroc to target everything, we have two Zoroas to set up so we can trade. And we have the beast energy, so the beast energy might be nice if he knocks out a GX, but for now, we even drew our judge immediately. Look at that. Okay, Zoroa comes into play, so baby buzz Zoroa. This is going to be with Buzz while GX Mellow? Mello is strange on the opening turn. He does have six cards left in the hand. So he probably has Guzma DTE, whatever that he wants to put on top. He definitely needs a Zoroark out. We are gonna judge him right away. And hopefully we draw into a, an energy so we can use Dangerous Rogue. I know using Dangerous Rogue right now would be bad, but at least we can do something that uh, the opponent doesn't expect. So we're gonna be a Sledgehammer for 30. Not that we mind too much. We have a lot of HP left. We can judge or we can use... Hopefully we draw into an energy. I want an energy right now. Okay, Brooklyn Hill. That is nice. Let's get that Brooklyn Hill on board. Get that Brooklyn Hill and we're gonna grab Diancy Prism Star to hit some extra damage. Well, in this scenario, I just want to target that Zoroa. 
Yes. And I want to, I want to judge here so badly, but I'm afraid I'm not gonna get the energy needed to just uh, destroy him. So I'm gonna rely on Tapu Lele for a good old Cynthia. So we definitely have the chance of drawing into our energies. We have nine energies we can uh, pull in order to just get this KO here. Hopefully things will turn out all right. Come on. One energy is all we need. I know we're gonna rely on our GX move unless we draw into the double Carlos energy. Nope. We don't draw into the double Carlos energy, but we're, we have our Zoroark ready. Let's straight away trade away the choice band I don't know we can also have Acer Roll as a good combo so I'm gonna get trade away the choice band we have Kukui to just get that extra damage we have another energy we're gonna rely on Nazball we're gonna let it whiff we're going to rely on the Ultra Ball get rid of that getting out <laughs> wow this is just the dominant force of Zoroark setting up we can rely on Acer Roll up but we still have another ace roll off, so I just want my double card as energy. Where is it? I'm definitely not gonna draw it, but who knows? We can dream. Oh, we have B string. Procol Hill B string is also cool. Okay, Pff, dangerous rogue. I know it's kind of a crazy to just use that dangerous rogue, but at least he cannot trade right now while we have access to Mallow. We have access to all the cards necessary to just knock this guy out. We have Kukui even. And the game freezes? The game freezes for a second. I don't know what the hell this is. What is this? I have no idea what's going on. Wow, the game froze for a second, but he got out Tayansi, so whatever. Looks like he decided to go for the Brooklyn Hill. So my screen froze for a sec. And we're just gonna dominate with Boswell uh, late game with the B strings. As soon as Lycanroc hits the field, we get out Boswell GX. Haven't seen. Looks like a very similar list. We haven't seen any Boswell GX as of yet. Ultra Ball. Are we gonna see another Zorowa? With that means we can just target it if we draw into a Guzma. And the game is exploding for a sec. I don't know what the hell is going on with my computer nowadays. Or maybe as the uh, connection could also uh, be the case. He's looking with Ultra Ball. What he wants to grab, he's probably gonna grab a Zorua if I had to guess. And uh, Sledgehammer might also be very dangerous in this situation because Sledgehammer can uh, next turn if we get a KO, dish out a ton of damage. What is this? Wow. Things are going crazy. What did he get? I didn't even see. Okay, Zorua has to be expected and he just uses Sledgehammer. So now it's back to us. Very, very simple. We just. Smack down the GX. We have the B string in hand, doesn't even matter too much. We need an energy, so we just straight away the mellow. We need the Kakui this turn to get a KO. Although we have. Yeah, here's the energy. Cool. Let's straight away. We don't even need Kakui, we have Diancy on the bench. Just uh, forgot. I forgot that. We have Acer Rolla and Weakness Policy. How cool is that? Weakness Policy going on one of the Zoroarks. Not that it matters too much, he can target whatever he wants, but eh, we don't have it in the hand anymore. We can also use Kukui, but I'm gonna wait with Kukui. You might, we might need the extra damage if he comes with something else. Here comes the Claw Slash. Bam! Okay, another KO. We got a prize card. What do we get? Uh, it's a Baby Buzz. Baby Buzz is kind of needed here. If he knocks out our Lycanroc, he needs a full bench in order to do that. And I don't see this happening, so... Looks like the deck that is faster wins right now in the standard format. It's just uh, the way it is. But this deck has a lot of options. You see that as soon as my Lycanroc gets uh, destroyed, we can use B-String and then we have a Boswell which can swing for 180 thanks to the Diancy. And you can hit Weakness for so against Zoroark. So, kind of like the list, going to uh, the approach of destroying Zoroark. It's very, very difficult against Molomar variants, but then you just don't get out your Boswell Jet. That would, that's what I would do in that situation. Another Cynthia, he needs a Zoroark right now. And he needs a full bench and a DCE. Which means out of the six cards, he needs Zoroark, DCE, and three bench Pokemon. Although he can rely on Brooklyn Hill, if he doesn't forget. That means there are still five cards. Okay, he concedes. What the hell? Everybody's conceding nowadays. We're gonna play another round. That was also very, very strange. A lot of people conceding. 
we're almost getting these uh, breakpoint packs. Uh, expanded shenanigans, not that I uh, mind too much. I'm not an expanded player. We're facing very spread deck. Okay, it's a spread deck. Tapu Koko spread with Macargo, probably, and the Tapu Lele to have the damage modifiers. Uh, we're gonna go first. Uh -huh. Hello. Well, hello. We start with Baby Buzz. Start with Baby Buzz. I'm gonna start with Zorwa, believe it or not. Baby Buzz is not the one I want. Unless I have, of course, Beast Energy. Do we swap it right here? Nah, I don't think so. Does the deck run DCEs? Okay, this Baby Buzz as well. Wow, very, very, very scary. I'm just gonna bench this Baby Buzz. Maybe we, maybe we retreat. Maybe. Let's use Tapu Lele. I want to retreat with a basic fighting energy instead of using that. This is kind of strange. I'm kind of used to use like using Pokemon Fan Club here, but this list is not designed to do that. We can give a DCE to Zorua or we can Cynthia right away. I'm gonna Cynthia right away. The DCEs are too much too important. We cannot uh, discard them in that matter. Hello, Diancy Prism Star is on the bench. And we are gonna give a fair fighting energy to the Zorua so we can manually retreat because otherwise that slam slash sledgehammer will be way too painful. And now we have access to trade. We all we definitely need a weakness policy on there. Otherwise our Zorua Jacks will feel it definitely. <laughs> this matchup is Orun Guru Boswell. Definitely gonna see some shrines as well, I presume. But we need our Tapu Lele here, otherwise we would have never gotten there. Tapu Lele is kind of fragile early game. If he gets out of the shrine, we're kind of it's like a ticking time time bomb. But we have Ace Roller. We have two copies of Ace Roller, and we have Palpat, so we can actually save ourselves in nasty situations. We have a D has a DCE, so we didn't even have to retreat. Oh, oh wow! There's a flying flip out staring us down. Instruct as well. Probably has a draw supporter after that. One, two, three. Draw supporter. Of course, that's how it goes in the TCG. Statistics, statistics. If you don't have a supporter and all that, and all those cards, there might be a supporter coming. Slugma, hello. I already knew that. Knew how the duck. I know how the deck functions and shrine as well. Wow. We are in a difficult situation. We need to have Professor Kui and an energy to even have a chance. We have a choice band. Not that it matters too much. Choice band over here. Choice band over there. And Guzman. Not that it matters too much. Oh well, this is going to be a painful matchup. Uh, here we have Brooklyn Hill, so we can at least get rid of that shrine. Okay, the best way to do this is to get out a Rock Rock. Do we have Lycan Rock? We have Lycan Rock. Okay, that's cool. We can also set up Boswell GX to just smack a bunch of damage so we can have multiple KOs. Hmm, interesting. Let's get this out. I'm gonna use an Ultra Ball to get rid of these guys. And we're gonna get out Zoroark GX right away. And I'm gonna trade away the Zorowa. I just want to get my Zoroark to just trade and have some consistency. He might target it and the Shrine might kick in, but I don't, I don't even mind at this point. Okay, here comes the Sledgehammer, not enough damage, 100. So now Boswell GX can do some crazy things. If we have Beast Energy and Boswell GX, things will be all, all right, I think. McCargo, now this is getting very scary. With McCargo, he can get everything he possibly wants. And he's definitely going to spread a ton of damage with his Flying Flip. And we don't have anything we can do about it. Although it's kind of nice to see his uh, Tapu Lele in the discard pile. Probably has Rescue Stretcher. But at least he's, it's uh, way more difficult to get his Lele. We have Lily next turn, we have Trades. So we can get a Boswell GX, start targeting. I want my Boswell GX with my Beast Energy so I can target this uh, Oranguru and knock this guy out. Although then the Sledgehammer dude gets activated. Ooh, difficult. I don't like facing shrine decks. Definitely not with a deck that I'm in. just testing out for the memes of it. Boswell with Zoroark. Ultra Ball comes for. I don't know what he's what else he's running. 
another Coco, so it's a lot of spread. He's just going to spread a bunch of turns until he has enough damage counters. Oh, smooth over, and now he can use Instruct Beast Energy. That means he's dishing out 60. Zorak is kind of fragile right now. We need my weakness policy, so hopefully we draw that with Lily. Beast Energy. All right, no, it's not a beast energy, it's a unit energy. Okay, oof, that is a relief. Smooth over and then Oranguru. We need to get rid of that smooth over in order for our deck to just annihilate him. How are we gonna do that? We can have a DCE Guzma play. Okay, Guzma for himself. We're going to target Dianti. And then he's going to flank flip. Okay, this is awkward. Because we're, now we're stuck in the active and we need to rely on Guzma or a DCE to retreat. Brooklet Hill, let's see what we get. Buzzle GX is nice. I want to get my GX out so I can start destroying multiple Pokemon. That's straight away the Zoro. I want to keep my Brooklet Hills in the hand. Come on. We have a DCE. DCE, but we don't have... At least we can knock this guy out, right? Here comes Lily. We even have Kukui. Wow. We have to destroy a DCE in order to get a KO here. Unfortunately. But he also ha always has access to that cargo. Definitely want to get rid of that. And I don't even know if getting that Boswell out was the smartest idea if he runs shrines. But we still have Brooklyn Hill to just counteract with that and ace rollers as well flying flips again <clears throat> we have to be careful as Lele is in here I don't know how much how many Lele's does he run <clears throat> I don't even know but the damage swap or whatever it's called magical swap is very scary it's going to flying flip once again we don't run enhanced hammers unfortunately I would definitely love myself an enhanced hammer right now Gargo, the guard that he wants, and we definitely need weakness policy right now. Probably gonna get a Cynthia out of this shrine. Shrine is gonna cook in, and we have Brooklet Hill to counteract with that immediately. So at least there's that. There's a lot of damage on our on our board already. Hmm. With Kakui, we can knock this guy out. So at least we have that going for us. And we also have access to the... How much damage are we doing? 70. Not knock out McCargo. Unless we draw into Beast Energy. Another Coco, believe it or not. And there's going to be a flying flip with Shrines. Okay, counter catch again. Oh my god. This is getting annoying. And the Shrine kicking in. So it's very, very, very powerful. So, first things first, let's get rid of that shrine. We need to get out of the active position here. I'm gonna trade away, actually get rid of that. We can get out of Zoroark, but it's better to get rid of those. Uh, how many Kuzmas? Three. Three Kuzmas. Come on, man, we need one. Trade. The Zoroark GX again. Come on, man. What do we need? We have a weakness policy. I also take that. That's cool. Falpat can get back. Whatever. Lily for three. Or for more. It's another GX. I'm not gonna get out the... Oh, here we have this E. Field Blower as well. Still not gonna get the one hit KO here. He's gonna have another flank flip here, so that's not cool. Where are the Guzmas, man? Hmm. Not cool indeed. Hmm. 
DCE and retreat will not work as well. So let's get a DCE over here. And let's get that like and rock up. And we're gonna target the McCargo. There, there we go. I don't wanna use Palpat since I want to draw into other cards. Like Guzma, for example. But we still have a lot of damage on ourselves, so we definitely need our bell pad for Acer Holos. Micro bike. Is he going to use Acro bike first and then smooth over? Because that would be weird. Very weird. Okay, discarding the Boswell. It's kind of fine. Two shrines in the discard. Hopefully there's one prize. I don't know how many shrines he runs. Probably four in a spread deck like this. Joyce Band, he's prepping him as possible here. Two energies already. And keeping our Diancy stuck every turn is just so annoying. We could have retreated, but we couldn't get the KO regardless. So Lily for a bunch of cards. Probably gonna have a shrine here. The shrine will be very oh it's a switch. Flying flip again. Wow, these flying flips are annoying. Come on, we need a Guzma this turn. Zoroark GX again. Not gonna need another Zoroark GX, so let's get rid of it. Come on, where's our Guzma? There's a lot of cards. Nazball, nice Field Blower. Well, 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 well. I think this deck can actually use <laughs> more Guzmas. Okay, now we have the Guzma. Beast energy. We have a lot of damage on ourselves and this Boswell might get a KO. It's gonna be difficult. Okay, I'm gonna do something, we're gonna retreat into Baby Buzz and we are gonna use Sledgehammer and then next turn we're gonna KO the Oranguru together with this Coco it's to avoid Sledgehammer shenanigans Another Slugma, so targeting the Macargo won't matter as well so now we have to rely on healing cards Where is Acerola when you need her? Move over. We st we already have a ton of damage on our on ourselves. Still, I also have access to field blower. We need to Acer Rolla ASAP. So we're just gonna go in with Boswell, smack some KOs, and then use Acer Rolla on something with a lot of damage. Acrobat. <sighs> Difficult matchup. Difficult matchup, so a lot of flying flips. Our Diancy is not looking very good here. It's almost gonna see the discard pile. Shrine, ooh, this is scary. Very scary. Okay, with our beast energy, we're dealing 80, dishing out 80. Our friend Lycanroc can get some chaos. Flying flips and shrine. So the best plan of action is now using an Acerola. Our baby Buzz will still not see the discard. Believe it or not. Hmm. Will he get six prize cards in one turn? That would be great for the opponent because we didn't do our very best in this matchup because it's very difficult. I don't even know how to approach it. Most of the time you just come in with a like rock, but he just keeps ourselves ourselves stuck in the active and we didn't draw into Guzma, so. Okay, flying flips all over the place. We are still stuck. We don't have Acer Walleye just yet. Which is not cool. We need our... Trade away this. Wow, that was the wordless, most wordless trait ever. Ah oh, man. We 
can use Kukui and then next turn use that amazing Kuzma play. Oh, here is Acerola. Well, 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 well. Let's get a weakness policy over here for the means of it. And here comes the Sledgehammer. For the KO, okay, we can get two KOs. Oh god, now we're into the Sledgehammer shenanigans. We can Guzma something out. Or we can rely on some more spread. Acerola will be our main play here. Two Macargos, wow. Where are our B strings and stuff? Don't have anything. Maybe Guzma play knocking out Oranguru together with Coco would have been a better idea. Unless he doesn't have how many overballs to just thin out his hand. Four in the discard. Ooh. Hope he has all supporters so he his hand is full. A Coco. Okay, Nazball. We'll get. Lele? Lele is in here. One rescue stretcher as well. Another Coco, so he's going full force Coco. Energy again. Wow, next turn we ne definitely need our Field Blower. Field Blower Acer Wola combos would be fantastic. Okay, Guzma again. Gonna target this guy. He's gonna come in with a sledgehammer, presumably. Hmm, maybe we should have targeted that instruct. Smooth over again. Is he going to. Yeah, flying flip, okay. Shrine damage is getting critical. Okay, what do we do about this? First things first, gonna get that beast energy 60. That's enough. Nest ball for nothing. Nest ball. We can use Mallow to just feel blow. Nah, there's nothing we can do at this point. Oh well. Let's get our Zoroark back in the hand. We just policy. Mm. Over here. And Jet Punch getting two KOs at the same time. Damage output is get very critical. He dishes out 30, so we should stay alive. Oh no, there's the Lele. Counter energy, we're done for. So, yeah, well played for the opponent. So, uh, this deck had a very tough matchup against Spread. Although, yeah, he just used Counter Catcher at his full uh, advantage. So, uh, yeah, that was it for uh, this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed me playing with Boswell, uh, Zorak. Let me know what you would change about the list. Uh, have you tested it out for yourself? And, uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys soon enough for more Pokemon TCG videos. Stay fresh, guys, and I'm out. Peace out.